delicious. Here we are at, with Richie's guys from Richie's Diner. Tri tip. We're all getting ready to. A little barbecue sauce here. Mm. I'm here with uh, the councilman, his name is uh, Doug McAllister. Hi, Doug. What's going on here tonight, and uh, how come you came down? Well, I'm right here at the Mixer for the Mirror and Team of Commerce, and I'm um, always looking for an opportunity to come out and visit with this community. I'm uh, very, very happy, and, so, and um, this is uh, Wendy over here saying hi. One of our, one of our businesses from Mecca Valley, um, Communications, very, very, very highly regarded business within our community. There's a plug, okay. There's a commercial there for you, Wendy. We're actually, seriously, here at the support of the chamber. Um, we believe in business here yet, and we're always happy to get the folks here. Well, oddly enough, despite of what's going on here, you know, we saw in the news today about the stock market, this year yet is doing pretty good. And we're anxious we're to see that continue. Alright, well, thanks for a couple of seconds of your time. I know you're a busy man, but uh, thanks for coming by. I'm here with uh, Bruce Coleman. Bruce Coleman is the uh, business development uh, director, I guess. Is that basically what Economic development director, economic. same thing. Alright, well, so what's this news about the governor's uh, talking about? Well, the city of Murrieta initiated a program by contacting the office of the governor, the California governor, to encourage them to add Murrieta into the San Diego Innovation Hub. Uh, there are about seven or eight innovation hubs around the state, the Silicon Valley, San Francisco has a biosciences hub, and San, Fr and San Diego has an innovation hub based on clean technologies. We petitioned the governor's office to add Marietta, and then we invited Temecula to join us in, in the uh, extension of San Diego's innovation hub, called the I-Hub, into Marietta and Temecula. Then we joined with the University of California Riverside to get them included. The opportunity there is to demonstrate that Marietta and Temecula are in fact an extension of San Diego's innovation economy and to encourage businesses in San Diego that are in technology areas to start thinking about Murrieta as a place for their growth. And so that's a, that's a very important announcement. It's the first time that there's been an official decision by the state of California that Murrieta is in fact part of the greater San Diego region from an innovation point of view. So it's very exciting for us. Sounds like it's a great deal. I'm uh, finally getting some recognition we're no longer a, 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 a what would you call it, a, a second-class area. We're no, we're very much a first-class community. All right, well, thanks a lot for your time, Bruce. Thanks, we Andy. Are, uh, with the... A little bit of a 21 table here, some entertainment for tonight. Of course, no, no real money involved, but somebody just won. He busted. Yay, I like that. <laughs> Hi there! Hi. My goodness! How are you, Andy? The glass medicine, a, do a doctor. Glass doctor. <laughs> glass. Glass medicine. That sounds dangerous. Yeah. All right. All right. Howdy. How are you? What's the name of your company? Feeling Lucky Entertainment. Feeling Lucky, well. Okay. One of my favorite lines from a, a movie by Clint Eastwood. You feel lucky, punk? <laughs> Here with Kim Davidson, and uh, Kim is smiling because she's, uh, I guess, well, what's your official title? What's your official title? Business Development Manager. Business Development Manager. City of Marietta. Very good. All right, and you're developing business tonight because you're here at the Mixer. I absolutely am. Always, always developing business. Do you have uh, anything coming up that uh, you want to talk about, like any free seminars? or I know everything in the city is free, which we like. Everything in the city is free. We try to make it free for everybody. Um, the score is doing a social media training that's coming up at First Citizens Bank. Um, that's one always, of those series, isn't it? Yes. We always have our Marietta Business Roundtable. That's the third Wednesday of every month at the Marietta Library at 7.30 in the morning. And the next one will be the third Wednesday of August, which I think is August 17th, 20th, something like that. And it will be on marketing. Well, that's everybody needs to get an edge out there in marketing. Yes. That's what people... I guess the 17th. It's August 17th. Okay. Yeah, that's a, I believe that's a Wednesday. Yes. Okay. Yes. So my anniversary is on the 18th. In case my wife is watching, I remembered. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Kim. It's always a pleasure interviewing you. Hey, thank you. Here I am at the uh, mixer. We're at a chamber mixer, and I'm with a young lady. You are? 
I'm Phyllis Reed, and I'm here representing the Professional Women's Roundtable. It's a wonderful organization, and I'm here to let people know that we are getting ready to have our Unity Award and dinner. It's going to be held at South Coast Winery on oh. November the 4th. Delicious. Sounds and it is going to be the event of the year. And <laughs> he's throwing me off. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's going to be a great ne networking event. Okay. And Tickets are $65 for a fabulous dinner, and our guest speaker mm -hmm. is Liz Murray mm -hmm. from Homeless to Harvard. I don't mm -hmm. know if you've heard anything about I've heard that, about that, yes. her book is called Breaking Me. Right. So, great event. Great yeah. to see you. Oh, great. Well, um, we'll see what we can do. We'll drum up some, uh, some attendees for you. Some How's attendees. That? Yeah. All right. That would be fabulous. All right. Thanks great a lot. Great organization. Thanks, All right. Andy. Right, sure. Bye.